Enabling the Tickets app gives you the power to sell tickets to your event. I'm here in the events area. I've already filled out the event details as you would usually, but now at the top we've got this Tickets tab. If we go into it, it'll see it warns you of any details you need to fill in. So you need to go back, fill that in. So here I haven't got my venue. I need to add a venue in. So we've added that, save that. Now if you go back into the Tickets tab, you'll see all these new options available. We can add a ticket type here. So we add it, you can give it your own name, call it whatever you want. I'm going to call it custom ticket. Uh, then we can also add the amount of allocation we want. So there's 100 tickets available in total of this ticket type. Then we can add the price, on sale date. Then there's the off sale schedule. So you can pick what time you want it to go off sale. You can either have it a fixed date and time or link to the door time. So this, I'm going to have it off sale now on 30 before. Then there's the options of the visibility of the ticket. There's the from on sale option, which is by default will show your ticket from on sale until the event is finished. There's the from on sale to off sale option, which will show the ticket until the ticket is no longer available for sale and it will disappear. Then there's the option to hide it from the public. This will mean that there's a private ticket link generated that you'll be able to send out to your customers. Then there's also the option to show it nowhere, which is an option to be sure that it's never gonna, this ticket's never gonna appear anywhere, but you still want to create it anyway for whatever reason. Hit save on the ticket, it'll ask you if you're sure. Then depending on your visibility settings, it will publish the ticket if your event is published. Now I'm gonna go through the advanced tab. They have the option to how many is the maximum tickets each customer is allowed to buy. Then we have the option of your ticket template if you've set any up. We have the off sale text. So this is if it's visible from on sale, then we'll have, once it's off sale, it will show this text or if it's sold out. Then we have the option to promote it at the basket stage if they haven't already got this item in their basket. Then we have the add guest area. So here you add the name, last name, email address, how many tickets you want to give the guest, whether they want an e-ticket or just on the door list and whether to send them an email. Hit save, it'll send them the ticket if you've opted to and they'll appear in your customers list. So this adds a uh, guest ticket on the left hand side there and adds your guest. Now on each um, customer you can opt to download them their e-ticket or email them or you can mass email everyone of a ticket type. So I'm going to go here and say I just want to email all my custom ticket names. So this is the first ticket I set up. I want to say hello to all of them or whatever email. And then hit save and it will send it to them. You can also set up alerts for your tickets. Here we have the door list alert which will send you a PDF of the door list just before the doors are open. Um, we had an email address and how long before the show the doors open we want to um, send the email. Then they have the low stock alert when they're running out of tickets, a sold out alert. You can add as many alerts as you want for each event, which can be set to different email addresses and also to different tickets. Then if we go up here to view the profile, you'll see how they appear on the front. Every ticket that's published, which is the green ones, will show up here as the listings. So we've got the custom ticket name there. Then there's a drop down for selecting the quantity. We set four to the maximum, so that's what's appearing. We can add that into our basket and then you'll see that it appears here with the option for ticket refund protection. As with anything, with great power comes great responsibility. So be very careful when you're setting up your tickets and double check before you publish anything. Thank you.